Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. This is going to be an energy check-in for the zodiac sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of your July from the 16th to the 31st. So uh, Virgo, we're going to take a look at your current over energies, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of your month. And then we'll take a look to see what the uh, possible outcome and advice are. Uh, so keep in mind, this could be in anything. This could be in love, romance, relationships, friendships, family, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. Uh, we'll just see what the cards pick up. Uh, before we get started, um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get alerts on new content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this uh, message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, and also, if you guys haven't noticed, I did turn off the uh, comment section in uh, all of my videos because um, I was getting a lot of spam comments and it was getting a little difficult to stay on top of it, reporting it, deleting it. It was getting annoying. So I'm just going to turn them off for now for uh, now uh, for a bit. And I hope to turn them back on soon. Uh, but if you need to contact me in regards to this video or other videos that you have watched, uh, you can feel free to DM me on my Instagram. Uh, the handle is in the description box below. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, that is also in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get started. Over energies for Virgo. What is surrounding Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect uh, for the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st? What does Virgo need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs here. All right, we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, the Ten of Wands. All right, the Three of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. The King of Pentacles, there you are, Virgo. And the Ace of Wands here. You know, Virgo, I feel like there's this energy of wanting to take a break and just disconnect and heal or something like that. Because I feel like you're taking on a lot, maybe. Maybe. I feel like I feel like you're working a lot. I feel like you're trying to focus on your love life. I feel like you're trying to focus on your friends. And I feel like it's starting to become too much. It's starting to become a burden starting to become stressful trying to please everyone or everything that you're trying to do. Yeah, I feel like there's this energy of wanting to take some sort of break here. Yeah, there's this energy of feeling really overwhelmed here, Virgo. Uh, really depends on the Virgo. Not, I don't, I don't, not all Virgos are like that, but... Um, I feel like some that I've met are like that and some are not. It really depends, but I mean, Virgo is a very, you know, hardworking energy. Um, yeah, I just know Virgo, some Virgos, you know, I've known some that would, you know, schedule back to back to back to back to back things uh, throughout the day uh, with no breaks in between. Just kind of go, 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 go. And like on the weekends, you know, they'll schedule like eight things in one day, uh, you know, breakfast, breakfast, and then gym, and then going to lunch with friends, and then like doing this and that. So yeah, I, I could see why it could become a bit overwhelming. Tell me about this Ten of Wands here. All right, why is this Ten of Wands here? Why is this Ten of Wands here? I grabbed two, so I'll take two. The Hangman and the Seven of Swords. All right, 
we have, tell me about this three of cups. Why is this three of cups here? Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. You could also be dealing with a lover or a partner that has lied to you, that has kept you waiting, that has been seeking other options. I mean, you could have been, I mean, I feel like Virgo, you're working really hard. I feel like you're working on your passions, but I also feel like you're putting effort into a connection here where you're getting nothing out of it. Um, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles here. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? We have the world here, Capricorn energy, um, or any of the fixed signs. Why is this lovers here? Tell me about this lovers. Why is this lovers here? Why is this lovers here? Lovers and the two of pentacles. Uh, I think you're sick of being juggled here. I think you're, yeah, I f I'm feeling like you're sick of being juggled. I feel like you're giving so much love to an individual. I mean, this could be, you know, just apply it to your own unique situation. This, this could be with a friend, a family member. Uh, so tell me about this King of Pentacles. All right, you have the Magician here. So this is your energy right here. Virgo and Gemini energy. Why is this Ace of Wands here? You know, Virgo, I feel like you're a pa like I feel like you're feeling like you're a package deal, and I feel like you don't deserve this sort of treatment. You, you know, I feel like you have a lot to offer, a lot to give, and I just feel like this person is not really appreciating this. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups. Could be dealing with the Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra here. So I feel like you're at the brink of dropping a relationship and ending the cycle because this person could be acting very childlike. Like I said, this person could be exploring a ton of other, other options. You're being juggled here. Uh, this person, you know, is lying to you, making you wait. Perhaps they, this person promised you a ton of cups here, but it's just not happening, especially if there are other people involved here. I mean, there's this energy of sort of like realizing that this person is not going to accept your love. I feel like this person sabotages connections here. All right. On top of this, I do feel like you have a lot going on here too, uh, Virgo, in terms of like friends, you know, family work. All right. Um, outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding their situation. For the second half of their July from the 16th to the 31st, what does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect here? Six of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. There you are, Virgo. Oh, whatever. All right, we have the Queen of Wands here, Virgo. So. Oh, okay. That's too many. Yeah, let's try that again. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. So Virgo, I feel like you're this king here, but place your suffering, you see fit, take it as it resonates, the world's could be flipped or reverse and apply this to your own unique situation. 
All right, the Page of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Seven of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. We have the Hangman again. I mean, we have someone here that is trying to manifest a reconciliation here after a huge explosion. So, I mean, someone could have gotten really mad at someone and just, you know, gave it to them. And, and there's this energy with the six of swords of moving on to this single, to a single life. I do feel like someone here is trying to apologize. This Queen of Wands here. Let's see. Why is this uh, Six of Wands? No, Six of Swords here. The Two of Wands. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Wands again. Uh, whoever this is, this person's not gonna let you go lightly. I mean, this person's blocking you, not letting you go. Tell me about this Queen of Wands here. The lovers, this might be a strong soulmate connection here. Um, tell me about the Page of Cups. You have the High Priestess here. Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Why is the seven, seven of the Wands here? Why is the Seven of the Wands here? Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. You have the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with someone that has air in their chart. Uh, this person is trying to do everything that they can to keep you around, but you want to leave. Yeah, this person is coming in, kicking and screaming and yelling and <sighs> dragging by, by someone's hair and not letting them go. childish behavior. I do feel like you could have been dealing with someone that has a hard time expressing their emotions. Yeah, I, I just feel like there is this energy of like blocking, uh, resisting, uh, resisting you, resisting letting you go, uh, resisting actually working together, collaborating to sort of like make things better. Uh, have some sort of change here. Yeah, uh, Virgo, this person, like I said, this person is going to be kicking and screaming and really trying to keep you around. And that, and you're like totally over it. So, Virgo, this, yeah, I'm getting a codependent energy from this uh, individual that you're dealing with here. So, Virgo, either you're this King of Pentacles or this Queen of Wands, which also is this uh, a knight here. So, uh, if you place yourself where you see fit, take it as it resonates. So, roles could be flipped or reverse. Apply this to your own unique situation. I hope this message resonated. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, obviously, the comment section is turned off, but feel free to pop me a DM on Instagram. Uh, if you know someone that uh, that uh, if you know someone that feel if you feel like there, you know someone that needs to hear this, share this uh, video with them, and uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.